Hello. Um, just finished work, so walking back. You know, I walk around 40 miles a week on average. Um, I've been walking to and from work for like the last six, seven years. Um, in my previous job, it was a lot less. It only took me 45 minutes to walk to work. Um, now it takes me an hour and a half. Uh, I've used that time to listen to university lectures, uh, we listen to audio books, lots of music and stuff like that, and walk in meditation. Um, I've essentially used that time, which most people would, would use in frustration and impatience, in giving myself multiple university educations or listening to multiple university educations. Anyway, enough about me. Today, I'm going to talk a bit more about Christianity. There's a game I like to play um, where you kind of take as given a thing, say like the Bible or the Quran or the Ramayana or any kind of sacred text or any text you want really, you can play it with Moby Dick and you seek to make it as, as self-consistent as possible. Um, the, the text itself may not be consistent at all. The authors may not have known what they were speaking about, but it's an interpretive exercise and it's quite, I find it quite fun to do. I haven't done it with the Bible for a long time, for about a year or so, but it's something I'll probably get back into because I think there might be an audience for that. And I do love the, kind, the, the, the gospel as I talk about it. So, um, one, see the, 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 the concept of God that Christians have is, um, is really inconsistent. And there's a reason for this. It's not inconsistent in itself, right? So they believe that God is omnipotent or powerful, uh, omniscient or knowing, um, and om omnipresent everywhere. But there's a problem in mainstream kind of orthodoxy, and it's how, or the problem of evil, really. Um, so these Christians, they, 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 they say that if you do not accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Saviour, and you do not believe that he died on the cross for your sins, and was resurrected again three days later, then you're going to hell. And essentially their gospel is this. It is, you're going to hell, but Jesus Christ died for your sins. So if you accept it, you get to go to heaven. And that's it, voila. Bullshit in my opinion, stinky, stinky bullshit. And it's boring, superficial, shallow and selfish. I get to go to hell, heaven rather. There you go to hell. Oh, you know, at least I'm fine, you know. The, the, the kind of orthodox Christianity is kind of capitalism with a spiritual disguise. And capitalism is, fuck you, got mine. Which is what Christianity is there, you know. So, um, this, this doctrine of how, it, it's like a spanner in the works for the game that I like to play about making the Bible itself consistent and the concept of God self consistent because they, they also say that there's those three attributes of God but there's also that he is love and in fact love is the only attribute that God has which it says is his definition, is his, is his nature, is his deepest nature and the problem is, is how can an all-powerful loving God who can do whatever he wants send people to hell forever and ever and ever they even say he doesn't want to or the, or the Arminians do. So I'll get, actually, no, let's get into that. The Arminians and Calvinists. This is one of the biggest kind of schisms in the pro Protestant kind of side of Christianity. I don't know much about Catholicism. I wasn't brought up in it. Talk about what I know. And what I don't know, I'll admit to being stupid about. I'm stupid about Catholicism. Anyway, so one of the earliest kind of Protestant movements was Calvinism. And... Um, See, on this, on this God thing, there are two answers to the question of how can God send people to hell forever and ever. You've got to deny either God's sovereignty and accentuate his love. So, so, so God would like to save everybody. He would like to have everybody in heaven. Um, but he can't because of our free will. That's what the Arminians say. The other way of answering the question, and this is a Calvinist answer, is that no, God doesn't love everybody. Um, he's predestined certain individuals to go to hell forever and ever and ever. That's what he made them for. And they're supposed to be an example of God's, God's kind of power through punishment. Um, I'll go deeper into this in the next video. 
Goodbye.